Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, the environmental damage caused by armed uh, aggression is global. Now the main tasks of Ukraine and our international partners are to develop effective mechanism for responding to the challenges of modern warfare and implementing an effective policy to protect the environment and climate, as well as to overcome the negative environmental consequences of Russia's aggressive war. At the same time, Ukraine records new cases of environmental damage caused by the war on a daily basis and regularly updates data on the extent of damage caused by Russia's full-scale aggression. As I said earlier, Russia's war in Ukraine has caused extensive and comprehensive damage to the environment and has resulted both immediate and long-term consequences for human health, ecosystems and the economy of not only Ukraine, but also neighboring countries. The Ministry and the State Ecological Inspectorate are actively monitoring the extent of damage to the environment. For today, the damage to Ukraine's environment amounts more than 57.3 billion euros and more than 5,174 cases of environmental damage that have been registered. In addition, more than 504,000 explosive devices has been diffused since the beginning of the Russian war. Moreover, Russia also uses phosphorus bombs, which are prohibited by international law. 156,000 square kilometers, or about 25% of the entire territory of Ukraine, are mined and need to be cleared of mines. The damage to rare species of flora and fauna is catastrophic. For example, 10 national parks, 8 nat nature reserves and 2 biosphere reserves are under occupation. 2.9 million hectares of the Emerald Network and 17 wetlands of international importance are under threat of destruction. In simple terms, 600 species of animals and approximately 750 species of plants and fungi listed in international endangered species lists are at risk. About 800 doses of dolphins were recorded in the Ukrainian part of the Black Sea because of the sonar of Russian warships. The biggest strategy of the environmental was the destruction of the Kakhovka dump by Russian troops. As a result, the world has lost drinking water supplies that would have been enough to consume all the people of the world for two days. 15,000 cubic kilometers of fresh water were lost forever and the wave flooded more than 64,000 hectares of forest and 150,000 hectares of national parks. The change in the hydrological regime of the Lower Dnipro also threatened more than 160,000 uh, migratory birds that we are finding in the Ramsar sites. The consequences for the climate dimension are also devastating. More than 180 million tons of CO2 have been released into the atmosphere as a result of the Russian war, and the air is being indirectly polluted by the destruction of forests, which are the lungs of the planet. This is, is comparable uh, to the annual greenhouse gas emissions of a country like Belgium. At the same time, military activities 51.6 million tons of CO2, from energy infrastructure 17.2 million tons of CO2, from fires 27.2 million tons of CO2, from the movement of internally displaced persons and refugees 3.3 million tons of CO2 from increased full consumption by Ireland's 
due to the ban of flights through the territory of Belarus and the Russian Federation, 20 million tons of CO2. It should also be noted that indirect greenhouse gas emissions due to the need to restore and reconstruct destroyed or damaged infrastructure are currently estimated at 56 million tons of CO2. 850,000 hectares of forest are under occupation, all in the war zone, where there are frequent cases of fire due to bombing and shelling. Russia's war has become another reminder that air pollution and climate change has no borders. That is why the world must consolidate around the environmental protection. Glory to Ukraine!